Hello, Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today we are going to be working on the paper pumpkin. Let me go ahead and get this opened up. This is the April 2020 paper pumpkin. The My Wonderful Family is the name of it. I'm going to just get this um, plastic shrink wrap off that protected it and I'm so happy that it was on there because it was left in the mailbox over the weekend I didn't even know it was out there and it was raining because since all this coronavirus stuff is going on I don't go outside not even to check the mailbox that often so and I forgot about the paper pumpkin can you guys believe it let's see what we have in here our ink spot color is pear possess so we'll go ahead and get that big ink pad out. We have some ribbon here. There's the stamp set. Let's see. Let's see if you guys can see that. Is that backwards? I believe it is. There we go. That's cute already. The tree, the trunk and the leaves. What does it say? I'm glad you are one of my family, daughter, brother, to my wonderful son, dad, sister, family where life begins and love never ends. I'll always be here for you and happy Father's Day, happy Mother's Day, mom, looks like butterflies here, little leaf. Okay. Oh, and this is for next month's paper pumpkin. Just add in color. It's going to be some in colors in the paper pumpkin for next month that you can subscribe April 11th through May 10th, 2020. You guys don't want to miss that. So you're going to be getting a sneak peek of all the new in colors that are going to be coming out. Well, not all of them. I think most of them, though. Yeah. The new end colors that are going to be coming out in the um, new summer catalog. The annual catalog, I mean. It's going to be cute. I can't wait. Okay, let's see what we have in this one. Let's get it out. This is what we're going to be making. Hmm, some little birds in a tree and the leaf. Let's open this up and see what we have. I see some cute embellishments. We'll get right to the list here. So this kit includes the My Wonderful Family Photopolymer Stamp Set, a pair of Pizzazz Classic Stamping Spot, card bases, printed envelopes, printed die cuts, label die cuts, ribbon, pearls, dimensionals, adhesive dots, and the coordinating colors are Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Melon Mambo, Mint Macaron, Pear Pizzazz, Shaded Spruce, and Soft Sea Foam. And here are some alternate projects they have over here on the side that you can make with it. Okay, that is cute. And you can always go to paper uh, the pumpkinhowto.com to watch the video on how um, Stamp It Up puts it together. Or you can um, visit my blog at honeybeestampinghive.com to see how I put it together. Because I'll have this video on YouTube and my blog. These are the instructions. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do. Starting on the right side, stamp the tree foliage by aligning the largest flower shape in the foliage stamp set with the large flower shape printed on the card base. So let's get all the supplies that we need first, right? That would be a great idea. So we have our adhesive dots. Ooh, our little die cut tree, so we're gonna need that. We'll have a sheet of um, labels. I love the shapes of those. Oh, look at this. 
We should only need one of these. This is pretty. Oh goodness, shaded spruce. This color looks so pretty. I'm happy they're using this color because it's a color that I think I only use like during the holidays, but it's such a pretty color. So rich. Okay, let's see. Okay, another one of those. These must be a card base. Oh, yes. Okay. That's one of the card bases. Did I say how many? I think it makes eight because it looks like it's four of these. So it might be four of the next one. Ooh. Look at this. We'll take one of those. And one of these. Ooh, look at that. The birds and the butterflies. Okay, we'll just keep that whole sheet. And here's the other card base. Man, are these fun folds? Oh my goodness, my voice is going in and out. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty. The card elements. Okay, oh, the envelopes are printed on the flaps how cute okay so those are the envelopes mini dimensionals and the pearls let's go ahead and get this out of this plastic you guys know what I did not get stamping blocks so let's pull some of those in I don't know which ones I'll need, but we'll do this. Okay, we are going to move all of this stuff to the side so we can have room to do some things. So it said to start with stamping the tree foliage, correct? And I assume that is on this one. I'm not sure. Let's see, because this is going to be folded like this. Hmm. You guys know I'm a picture person. So, okay, so this is going like this. I'm confused. So we're going to stamp the tree foliage on top of there. So let's get that stamp oh, off of there. So, oh, okay. I see what they're saying half because it's not a full thing. So you have to stamp half on this side and then turn it and do the other half over here. I see when they say do half and half. Okay. So let's see. Does it matter where it goes in there? Stamp the tree foliage by aligning the largest flower shape in the foliage stamp with the same large flower shape on a pre-printed card base. So the large flower shape. Let's see. Okay, so you, okay. I see, I see, I see. Okay, please excuse any head being in here. We're gonna do the same thing the other way. I didn't quite line it up, but it's lined up the best I can get it. We'll do the same thing over there. Well, that one lined up pretty good. Okay, 
That was step one. Step two is stamp sentiments on pre-cut labels and apply adhesive dots to form front of a Z Fold card. Okay. Step three, adhere die cut pieces using adhesive dots. So I want to work on one card at a time. So we are going to put our tree trunk on this. And it's going to go like this. Yes. Let's look at the picture. Hmm. So how is how are they gonna open it? I'm so confused. Because if that's I guess you don't glue it down right there. Because they won't be able to open it. Okay, so let's get some glue dots out. These are tiny glue dots. Oh my. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I just put three on there until we can get the rest of it. Oh, I just flung that over. Try to get it right in the middle here. Okay, where's my bone folder? that might help as well get this creased down so it'll stay closed a little bit better okay and then we're gonna have this one going across here and this banner we're gonna stamp a sentiment on and what sentiment are they using family where life begins and love never ends so let's get that one out <laughs> Get that, put it on a block on a diagonal so it'll fit, oops. And then we're gonna just stamp it in the middle of our banner. F didn't really come out. Okay, I'll fix it later. So let's see. Are they popped up on a dimensional or no? Yes or no? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, I can't tell if they're on dimensionals or not, but I'm going to put this part just with glue dots so we can glue the um, little yellow, the crushed curry banner underneath. Well, strip, because this is the banner, right? I am, I don't like this. It's cricket and it's not stamped straight. I am definitely gonna redo this after the video. And then it goes here. Is it on dimensionals there? I'm so confused. Oh, it might be. I'm gonna put it on dimensionals. I think I'm gonna put <clears throat> One dimension on either side. Oops. It's stuck to my finger here. Either side of that tree trunk. I'm going to just center that in the center. And then I think we need some little birds. Where are my birds? And we'll pop these up on dimensionals. So we're gonna get one looking to the right and one looking to the left. And 
those will be popped up on dimensionals. So one for each bird. Put this one there. And this will also help hold down the branches of the tree. These dimensions are just are small enough to fit behind here without showing. So make sure you place them properly so they won't show. I'll put that one there. That is card one done. I'm a little cricket. A little cricket. I don't know if it's cricket or if it's just because I stamped it cricket that it looks cricket. But that's card number one. Could have done it a little better, but. I was confused on this one. So let's see if the next one. So it opens like this. Stamp on the inside. Let's see if we can do the next one a little better. Where am I put this? I'll put it to the side over here. So the next one it says it's a Z fold card. So woo. Let's see. Where's the base? Okay. So it going this way that should be the front so I'm, I'm confused let's see because if this is that way I think they folded it wrong when it came in Yes, they have it pre-folded wrong. It should have been pre-folded this way in the middle so that this one can come back this way. That's what confused me. Because I knew the printed should be on the front. And I was wondering what in the world is going on. So we're going to attach our pre-printed scripty this here. So we'll do that with some glue dots. Let me make sure I have the right side. Where did I put that glue dot? I just, no worries. Get another one. They supply you with so many. And I'm gonna just put one on the base. Ooh. One on the base in the middle. And one on each end here. Oh, not too far. Because it's not really doesn't go all the way okay take the backings off backings off you guys I haven't been doing any videos any stamping for about mm, almost a month because this quarantine is just really <sighs> It's really draining me of all of my creative juices and I've had some family issues going on that I had to take care of and it's just a lot. But I'm going to try to get back to at least my um, once a week videos on Saturday and hopefully posting at least three times a week on my blog. I usually post every day but... I'm gonna try to get back to the at least once, um, three times a week of posting on the blog and once a week on the YouTube. Okay, let's see. We are going to adhere our leaf on here. And should that be popped up? I think I'm gonna pop it up with dimensionals. I like this. The colors of this is so pretty. The soft sea foam, the softness of that with the richness of the shaded spruce, it really goes good together. Now they don't tell you what pieces to pop up. They usually do, it just says it here with dimensionals and 
um, glue dots. So I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals because this is the one I want to be popped up. Whoop, whoop, but not right there. <laughs> That is pretty just like that no sentiment or anything so then it says take five inches of the ribbon so there's a ruler on the bottom of our instruction sheet we're gonna take five inches of this ribbon got it right there five inches and we are going to fold that underneath one of our labels and what does that label say I'll always be here for you okay and we need a butterfly then we'll add the pearls to both so let's see I need to get a label and a block where's my stamp set where okay i'll always be here for you we're gonna stamp oh i put that on cricket so hopefully we'll stamp it straight you guys i do have an issue with stamping and aligning gluing stuff down straight i don't know what my deal is that's why i usually use the liquid glue to help me when i'm gluing things down but stamping oh that's pretty straight it's just not centered <laughs> so we're gonna put this under here so we're going to put some glue dots on the back of that to hold down the ribbon there's a glue dot on there there we go take the backings off let's see take another look see how they did it you know I want to trim up these ends I want this one I want to get this one a little neater okay Is this going to go on dimensionals? Yeah, let's put this up on dimensionals. Why not? I'm going to try to secure that part of the ribbon down. dimensionals there then we'll just place it about here right about here okay then we'll get our butterfly and pop that up on a dimensional mm, no that one I'm going to do a blue dot because we have all these other things on dimensionals already. That's going to be flying off right there. Then we can add all of our pearls. So let me bring back the other card. Owie. Get my pick, take your pick tool. Where did I put our pearls, everyone? Here they go. 
And we're gonna get a couple of these crushed curry pearls. Put some just around, just around. Mm. I want one between the birds. I'll just put those three. And then on here, we'll put, try to put them where they have them. One about there. Okay, that is both our cards done. So this kit, I do believe I will be trying to make some alternate um, projects with it because I really like these elements. Well, I like this car, I like the Z Fold, but I don't, I, want, I think I have some more ideas that I can do with this, especially this tree. So we're gonna see if I can get my creative juices flowing but that is the April 2020 My Wonderful Family Paper Pumpkin Kit. Cute, right? With the matching envelopes, the shaded spruce and the um, soft sea foam envelopes that match. There you go. We'll see what we'll come up with in a couple of days here. So don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.